Hi, I'm Miley Oye. I'm a member of Google's Webmaster Support Team, and I'd like to help you better understand how to use the URL Parameters feature in Webmaster Tools. URL Parameters is a fairly advanced feature, so some of this information might be more complex than one would expect. Before you further watch this video, please check out the URL Parameters page to see if you have a message from Google explaining that we already believe we have high crawl coverage of your site and therefore no adjustments to this feature are necessary. The message would say, currently Googlebot isn't experiencing problems with coverage of your site, so you don't need to configure URL parameters. Incorrectly configuring parameters can result in pages from your site being dropped from our index so we don't recommend you use this tool unless necessary. For those of you who have that message, you're good to go, and no further viewing is even necessary. But for those of you who don't have that message, please keep watching. And one of the main takeaways is that improper actions on the URL parameters feature can result in pages no longer appearing in search. Again, it's an advanced feature. The settings in URL parameters are used by Google as a helpful hint in our crawling process. For stronger directives, you'll want to use things like a robots.txt disallow or a meta no index. But using the URL parameters hint is still very helpful. In 2010, the Google Store only sold about 160 products. And that seems fine and fairly easy to crawl. But the thing is, is that of these 160-ish products, it actually created 380,000 URLs. These URLs were created by things like different types of navigation. So Googlebot, in terms of crawling your site, doesn't just look at, say, 200 unique URLs, but actually has to determine what URLs to crawl of the 380,000 that were created. You can see how Googlebot might want to be more efficient in crawling by looking at these two URLs. Now, the first one says category equals YouTube. Let's say that URL brings Googlebot to 20 unique items on the page. But on the second URL, it's category equals YouTube and size equals medium. So it's the exact same items, but now just say filtered down to five because of the size equals medium parameter. So in this way, Google would rather just crawl the first URL and reach all 20 of the items rather than crawling both URLs and seeing a redundant five items. Essentially, with your input in URL parameters, it helps us to understand your site better so we can crawl more efficiently. By crawling more efficiently, we don't crawl as many duplicates, and that will save you bandwidth and helps us to focus on your unique content rather than crawling the duplicative information repeatedly. But if you want URLs removed, you can go to URL removals in Webmaster Tools. Again, the URL parameters feature is to crawl more efficiently. It's not about removals or explicit robots.txt disallowing. Another background piece of information that I'd like to mention is that page level markup is still taken into consideration in tandem with URL parameters. So if you have page level markup like rel canonical, rel next prev, or rel alternate href lang, that's fine and can still be used by Google, even if you're using URL parameters. Just make sure that we can still crawl your page, meaning that it's not robots.txt disallowed or you haven't set it to not be crawled in URL parameters. As long as we can crawl your page, we can still use the page level markup. Since we've 